Yellowstone National Park is famous for its geothermal features, including its hot springs and geysers. The most iconic of these features is Old Faithful, which erupts approximately every 90 minutes. But what many people don't realize is that beneath Yellowstone's beautiful landscape lies one of the world's largest supervolcanoes. And some scientists believe we could be entering the era of the Yellowstone supereruption. What are the warning signs that something big is about to happen? Let's find out. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it would be devastating. The entire region would be covered in ash and the air quality across the US would be affected. The economy would go into shambles and even our food supply would be impacted. The good news is that we have pretty good warning signs that can give us an idea of when it might go off again. We just need to pay attention. Yellowstone National Park spans parts of three states, Wyoming, Montana and Idaho, and encompasses more than 2.2 million acres of land. It is home to more than 10,000 species of plants and animals, including bison, grizzly bears, wolves and elk. Yellowstone is also home to the world's most concentrated geyser basins, with over half of the world's geysers found within the park's borders. However, there's much more to this national park than meets the eye. Beneath its picturesque landscapes lies a massive magma chamber, making Yellowstone a potentially supervolcanic caldera. The supervolcano has had three major eruptions in the past. The first two occurred over two million years ago, and the last one happened 640,000 years ago. Each eruption was more powerful than the last, with the most recent one ejecting an estimated 2,500 cubic miles of material, which is roughly equivalent to the volume of all the water in Lake Superior. These ancient eruptions have left behind a massive caldera, which is simply a large crater formed by the collapse of a volcano. Today, the caldera is filled by Yellowstone Lake and extends for 43 by 28 miles. But despite its history of massive eruptions, Yellowstone has been relatively quiet in recent times, that is, until now. In a recent study published in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews, a group of researchers led by Michael Hyken from the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of California, Santa Barbara, suggest that we may be entering a new era for the supervolcano. According to their research, Yellowstone is more active than it has been in at least the past 15 million years. What's causing this increased activity, and could it lead to a major eruption? To understand the recent activity at Yellowstone, it's important to take a closer look at the magma chamber that lies beneath the park. This magma chamber is like a giant reservoir of molten rock that fuels the volcano's eruptions. In the case of Yellowstone, it's so massive that it extends far beyond the boundaries of the caldera. The magma chamber is what powers the geysers and hot springs that make Yellowstone such a unique and fascinating place. But it's also what could cause the next super eruption. Using advanced imaging techniques, scientists have been able to map the magma chamber in great detail. They've discovered that it's not a single chamber, but rather a complex network of interconnected reservoirs. This complexity makes it difficult to predict how the magma will move and interact, which makes eruptions even more challenging to forecast. One of the biggest challenges facing scientists studying Yellowstone is the sheer size of the magma chamber. It's so vast that it would take months for a full exploration, even using the most advanced drilling technology available today. This makes it almost impossible to collect enough data to accurately predict when or if an eruption will occur. But despite these challenges, scientists are working hard to monitor Yellowstone closely. They're using a variety of techniques to do this, such as seismic monitoring, which involves listening for earthquakes and other underground rumblings that could indicate magma movement. By tracking these signals, scientists can get a sense of how the magma chamber is evolving over time. Another technique scientists use is ground deformation monitoring. This involves using satellites and other instruments to measure any changes in the shape of the ground around Yellowstone. Even the smallest change could indicate that magma is rising or that the pressure in the magma chamber is changing. Finally, scientists are also using remote sensing techniques to monitor changes in the thermal activity of Yellowstone's geothermal features. This can help them identify any changes in the behavior of the geysers and hot springs, 
which could also signal changes in the magma chamber. So while we can't see inside the magma chamber directly, we do have a range of tools at our disposal to monitor its behavior. These tools have already helped scientists identify some interesting changes in recent years. For example, in 2018, scientists detected a swarm of small earthquakes near the northeastern edge of the caldera. This swarm was unusual because it lasted for several months and involved hundreds of earthquakes. While the swarm didn't necessarily indicate an imminent eruption, it did provide valuable information about the structure and activity of the magma chamber in that area. Similarly, scientists have also detected changes in the ground deformation patterns around Yellowstone in recent years. These changes could be due to the movement of magma within the chamber, or they could be caused by other factors, such as changes in groundwater levels. More research is needed to fully understand these signals, but they do provide an indication of the complex processes that are happening beneath the surface of Yellowstone. In addition to these instrumental monitoring techniques, scientists also rely on geological evidence to piece together the history of Yellowstone's eruptions. By studying the layers of ash and other materials that have built up over the millennia, scientists can reconstruct the timeline of past eruptions and better understand the behavior of the volcano. This geological evidence is crucial for predicting future eruptions because it provides a long-term perspective on the frequency and intensity of past events. One of the most exciting recent discoveries related to Yellowstone's eruptions came in 2021 when scientists announced the discovery of a previously unknown eruption layer in the park's northern region. This eruption, which occurred about 12,700 years ago, was much larger than previously thought. It ejected an estimated nine cubic miles of material and left behind a layer of ash that was up to eight inches thick in some areas. This discovery provided new insights into the history of the supervolcano and highlighted the potential for even larger eruptions in the future. Despite these efforts, it's important to remember that predicting volcanic eruptions is incredibly difficult even at well-monitored sites like Yellowstone. There is no surefire way to know when or if the next eruption will occur, but by continuing to study the volcano and monitoring its activity, scientists hope to better understand its behavior and reduce the uncertainty surrounding future eruptions. Now let's talk about some of the potential consequences of a Yellowstone supereruption. The impact of a Yellowstone supereruption would be felt far beyond the immediate vicinity of the park. Ash and debris would blanket large portions of the western United States, affecting air quality and disrupting transportation and agriculture. The economic impact would be significant with widespread damage to infrastructure and the loss of agricultural productivity. A study published in the journal PLO S1 estimated that a major eruption at Yellowstone could cost billions of dollars in damages and lead to major disruptions in the U.S. economy. In addition to the economic impact, the health effects of a Yellowstone supereruption would be significant. The ash and debris ejected during the eruption would contain small particles of volcanic rock and glass. These particles could be carried by winds far away from the eruption site, leading to widespread air pollution. Breathing in these particles could cause respiratory problems, especially for children, the elderly, and those with pre-existing respiratory conditions. The ash and debris could also contaminate water sources, making them unsafe to drink. This could lead to an outbreak of waterborne diseases and put a strain on the water supply in affected areas. But perhaps the most far-reaching impact of a Yellowstone supereruption would be the effect on the climate. Large volcanic eruptions can have a significant impact on global temperatures. The amount of sulfur dioxide and other gases released into the atmosphere can lead to a cooling effect that lasts for years or even decades. A study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters estimated that a Yellowstone supereruption would inject between 1 and 3 trillion pounds of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. This could lead to a global temperature drop of up to 6 degrees Fahrenheit, which could have significant impacts on agriculture, water resources, and human health. Of course, the actual impact of a Yellowstone supereruption 
would depend on a number of factors, including the magnitude of the eruption and the preparedness of local and state governments. But it's clear that the consequences would be far-reaching and long-lasting. In conclusion, the prospect of a super-eruption at Yellowstone National Park is a sobering reminder of the immense power of nature. While the risk of a major eruption may seem low, the potential consequences are too significant to ignore. By continuing to monitor the volcano and investing in research, we can better understand the risks and better prepare for any potential future eruptions. As we learn more about the inner workings of Yellowstone, we can also appreciate the beauty and wonder of this truly remarkable place. Whether it's the geysers, hot springs, or the incredible wildlife that calls Yellowstone home, there is much to marvel at in this unique corner of the world. Let's hope that the supervolcano stays dormant for many years to come. But in the meantime, let's continue to explore and learn about this truly amazing part of our planet. This is your host. And until next time, keep looking up.